Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from Witch Hunter Tutorials. Um, today we're going to be making a another another romantic comedy poster, except for this one was based off of a specific poster I did before that someone requested for me to go over. Um, this is the poster I did before, but I didn't want to, you know, exactly copy it because I was it was given to somebody for their story, and I didn't want to have you copy making that. That didn't make sense. But anyways, so I made a different one, but it's almost exactly the same thing, but different. <laughs> so, let me delete this. And now we're going to start by going to File, New. The width is 800, the height is 600. Make sure it's in pixels and the background is transparent, and then click OK. Now, the first thing we're going to do is grab the Paint Bucket Tool. To fill in the background and we're going to click a pastel yellow which this is the color I'm using then click OK and click to fill it then we're going to select the move tool and double click on the layer to add a pattern to it so click on pattern overlay and this is a pattern I chose but you can use whichever one you think will fit and the opacity is 24 and the scale is 100 and then click OK and we can name this layer BG for background and now we're going to add the first character which is Lei from EXO so just drag him onto the canvas and just position him for anywhere right now because we're going to tilt him in a second so next we're going to add a topaz clean to it. I don't think you can word it that way, but anyways. So go to filter, topaz labs, topaz clean. <clears throat> then drag so you can see his face. And then go to crisp style. And the strength is 2. And these are all the other settings. We, these are my usual settings. Except for the strength. That's usually the only thing I change. So then we're going to click OK. And we're going to rotate him so he's not at such an awkward angle for the poster. So we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Rotate. And then we're just going to drag until he's about at a... Hmm, whatever angle you think looks best, I should say, I guess. Then click the check mark. Yeah, it's about the same thing. <clears throat> And we're going to rename his layer Lay. And now we're going to add a um, stroke to him. So we're going to double click on his layer, click stroke, make sure the color is white, the size is 7, and the opacity is 70. But as you see, when we added the stroke, the, um, the way the PNG is cut, sometimes the stroke turns out a little funky, so we're going to have to go and erase that. So grab the eraser tool and just make sure you grab a really soft brush like this one. And then we're going to start erasing until it looks about even with the other ones. Okay. That looks pretty good. And now we're going to add a drop shadow. So double click on the layer again to bring up the layer style panel and click drop shadow. And the opacity should be 100, the distance is 3, the angle is 120, the spread is 11, and the size is 13. Then we're going to click OK. Um, now we're going to add a blush on his cheeks. So we're going to make a new layer. You can name it blush. And... We're going to click the paint brush tool and make sure you grab a soft brush and we want the um, the size of the brush to be 96 which is the perfect size for his cheeks and we're going to click a darker pink color specifically this is the one I'm using then click OK and we're just going to click once on each cheek but for the second one we don't want to click and have the pink go everywhere so we're going to control click his click the lay thumbnail so it, it will select him and it won't go outside the line when we click 
Ta. Then Control D to deselect. Select the Move tool and change the blending mode to Color Burn. And then we're going to make the opacity 62. Okay, now that we got that done, we're going to add the second character, Suho. So take his PNG and drag it onto the canvas. And it's big, so we're going to have to go to Edit, Transform, Scale to scale it down. Shift and then drag till you get a good size where he'll fit on Lei's shoulder. It's pretty good. You can click the check mark. Now we can rename his layer Suho, and we are going to add Topaz Clean to him as well to get rid of the kind of graininess. So go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Clean 3, and we're going to go with the same settings as last time except for the strength is going to be 1 so it doesn't look as painty like this. So click OK. Now we're going to add a drop shadow as well, so we're going to double click on his layer. Go to Drop Shadow, and this time the opacity is going to be 48%. That way it's not so dark and looks more natural. And the, set, the rest of the settings are the same as last time, and click OK. Now we're going to add Sehun and do the exact same thing except to add him over here. So go to his PNG, drag it onto the canvas, drop it, go to Edit, Transform, Scale, Hold shift and drag so you get a good size. That looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> so we're going to double click on his layer and name it Sehun. Or Sehun. And we're going to do the exact same thing and add the same drop shadow. So we're going to double click and go to drop shadow opacity 48 and then we're going to add the same topaz effect as well so we're going to go to filter and just click the first topaz clean because that'll apply the exact same settings that we used last time and next we're going to add the title but we're going to have to add an ellipse first like this so we're going to go to the ellipse tool which will be under the rectangle tool and we're going to go up here to width and height and the width will be 403 and the height is 238 and now we're just going to click right here and it'll pop up when we click OK. And make sure the color is white for the background and the strokes but you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> so we're just going to drag it until it sits about in the middle, but if you want to drag a guide to get specific, you can. Looks good. Um, now we're going to add some effects to the ellipse. So we're going to double click on the ellipse and we're going to add a stroke. But we want the size to be 2 and we want the color to be um, this light pink color. Then we're going to click OK. Now we need to add a, <laughs> oops, we need to add a pattern actually. So we're going to click on this pattern, but if you don't have that, you can just use whatever pattern you have, because I don't know where I got this one from. And we're going to make the opacity 28%. And yeah, so we're going to click OK. <clears throat> Then we're going to add the title. So we're going to drag a text box. You don't want to click in here because that'll just, I usually don't like that because it kind of messes up the text sometimes. So we're just going to drag a box out. And we're going to use the cop, we're going to copy and paste the title of Angel, which is one of the EXO songs. And um, the font should be Rick Swenso, which is a Korean font. And the, um, the font size is 81, and the color should be a dark pink, like this. Click OK. Then we're going to grab the Move tool and drag it to where it's centered. 
<clears throat> now we're going to add some effects. So we need to double click on the layer. And then, sorry, my dog is eating in the background. <laughs> then we're going to um, add a, a stroke, a stroke. We're going to add a stroke. <laughs> and we're going to make the size 4 and the opacity is 100 and the color is going to be this light pink. And click OK. <clears throat> then we're going to add a gradient. And this is a gradient I'm using with the opacity of 59 and it's basically a pink, this pink color this pink color and a white and we're going to make the style reflected the angle 90 and the scale 150 and click OK. Then we're going to add the title down here <clears throat> and just drag another text box and we're going to type into your world it's okay if it doesn't fit you can just drag it out well usually you can but for right now it's not letting me <sighs> okay the entire font is going to be um where did I put that the, the font size is going to be 15 there we go and then just drag it until it's under here we're going to add the same exact effects as before as that we did to this title. So stroke is going to be 4, 100, color, and gradient. Though you might want to make the stroke smaller. I see that now. Yeah, make it a 2, 2 pixels. Then click OK. And now we're going to add credits. We're going to add credits and then we're going to add the um, names above, up here. <clears throat> First we'll do that, I guess. So then we're going to add another text layer. The size is going to be 12. And the font is going to be hubbubs another Korean font, but we're going to type in English this time. We're just going to type their real names, which I don't want to butcher the pronunciation, so we're just going to assume you know what their real names are. Suho's real name. And drag that until it's above their heads. Now we're going to add the credits. Usually you're going to add a, a um, color that will stand out and I always do mine in Orator STD and just make it 10. It's usually a good size. And the color we want to be black. Which Hunter Tutorials. I probably butchered that. No I didn't. Okay. Just make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And drag it to the corner. And ta-da! That's the end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helped you in some way. Uh, make sure to request for another tutorial if you want one. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.